Coming up on this week's episode, Textron sells Skyhawks to a state university. Also, Air Force aims for civilian help with remote instruction. And Pull Up Academy selects the NACA 200. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, your one-stop shop for all things flight training. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Textron sells 10 Skyhawks to Kansas State University. Textron Aviation released news of a recent order of 10 Cessna Skyhawks destined for Kansas State University, Salinea Aerospace and Technology Campus, bringing their total fleet to 20. K-State also owns Bonanzas, Barons, Motor Gliders, and Sailplanes in their collection, also put to use in their Part 141 pilot training program. The Salina, Kansas School was one of the earliest participants in Textron's Top Hawk program, receiving their position in 2015. Since then, they use their customized branded Skyhawks for promotional activities and flight training. The school is a longtime buyer operating C-172s since they began operating their pilot training program. Since then, they have continued to add to their stable, last buying another five Skyhawks in 2019. Textron Aviation remains committed to supporting the training and development of the next generation of pilots and our continued strong partnership with Kansas State is a critical element to these efforts, said Chris Crow, Vice President, Piston Sales. The new aircraft will be delivered from the first quarter 2022. The new planes are exciting for the students. After the break, ACE appoints new Executive Director. More news after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some shorter stories in this segment we call Around the Patch. ACE has appointed a new executive director, Daryl Price. The Aerospace Center for Excellence is a large 14-building aerospace STEM facility located on the Sun and Fun Expo campus. John Lights Leanhouts, president and CEO, said, Daryl comes with a wealth of experience and knowledge that partners exquisitely with a very engaging personality, all of which will be instrumental in leading our team as we bring the Skylab Innovation Center to life. The National Aviation Hall of Fame names 2021 Teacher of the Year. They announced Caroline Little, a Space Foundation teacher liaison, Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum fellow, NASA wearable equipment to avert radiation mentor, and longtime educator is the 2021 recipient of NAHF's A. Scott Crossfield Educator of the Year. The Crossfield Award began in 1986 by NAHF and Shuni Scott Crossfield as a juried annual competition to recognize exemplary use of aerospace in their classroom. Some wall to head new safety center at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. A new global center for aviation and aerospace safety will be launched at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University to be led by industry expert Robert Sumwalt III. He will begin stewarding the center as a distinguished fellow in aviation safety and executive director of Embry-Riddle Center for Aviation and Aerospace Safety from January 4, 2022. Embry-Riddle Center for Aviation and Aerospace Safety will serve as a business magnet for our region 
by attracting industry and government partners eager to identify timely solutions, said University President P. Barry Butler. Shelt Air and Av Fuel partner on Aviation Scholarship Program. Shelt Air Aviation, in conjunction with Av Fuel Corporation, have announced an expansion of the scope of their partnership to include an educational program aimed at replenishing the industry's stock of pilots, technicians, and professionals. The Future Takes Flight Scholarship funds will provide $30,000 annually. Each year, it will distribute six $5,000 awards across three categories, two for learning to fly and advanced pilot ratings, two for aviation technicians, and two for continuing education. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Air Force aims for civilian help with remote instruction. The United States Air Force found itself short of its annual goal of 1,500 new pilots as increased airline hiring and low retention draw away aviators towards other careers. Their Education Training Command is the center for USAF's efforts to create pilots fit for stringent military standards, Lieutenant General Brad Webb, commander of AETC, said that he expects the changes in training and recruitment to clear away barriers for readiness. With an overhaul of the candidate selection process for more modern and equitable decision-making and efforts to increase the pool of qualified pilot applicants, training classes should show an improvement in size starting next year. Once in training, updated, accelerated, and technologically improved coursework will turn them into quality aviators ready to fly. The magic number for the training command is the 1,500 pilots necessary to keep pilot numbers stable, and recent years have continually fallen short. In 2020, only 1,263 pilots were trained, with about 100 more ready by the end of 2021. This increase only returns pilots' levels back to their pre-pandemic levels. After these messages, Pull Up Academy selects newest trainer aircraft. Details after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back. Pull-Up Academy selects newest trainer aircraft. Portuguese International Flight School Pull-Up Academy announced the selection of the Sonaka 200 for its newest trainer aircraft. The school selected the Sonaka 200 Pro, the highest trim level of the aircraft, including all EFIS instrumentation provided by a G500 TXI GI275 and other products from the Garmin portfolio. Powered by a Rodax 914F granting 115 horsepower through a three-blade propeller, the aircraft is good for seven hours of cruise flight between refuelings. Built by Sonaka's aircraft subsidiary, the lightweight two-seater is well-suited to be incorporating all the elements of a trainer aircraft, being controllable, predictable aircraft with consistent stall behavior and anti-spin design. Pull-Up Academy is the new addition to the area, flying out of the Broganza Aerodrome and holding classes in their new facility in Brigancha Eco Park. Once active, the school is slated to forgo the piecemeal approach to classic flight training. 
Instead, students will undergo integrated coursework to gain their ATP license with an initial investment of 2 million euros. Facilities are growing steadily in preparation for the first courses expected to begin in 2022. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.